you can get high-quality audio from your recording using Audacity easily. By high quality, I mean as good as ACX quality. If you do not know what ACX quality is, it is the quality of audiobooks accepted on the ACX website. You can use your audio in a professional voiceover demo if it is as good as ACX quality. Needless to say, ACX quality audio is also perfect for audio in YouTube videos, online courses, or personal audio projects. There are mainly four audio effects in Audacity that can make any sound better. You have to configure these effects according to the audio you are working on. I already have some videos where I discussed in detail how to find the best configuration. I have linked that video in the description and on the i button on the top right. Click on the i button if you want to know the detailed mechanism. In this video, I will show you a shortcut to achieve ACX quality sound. Let's listen to the audio I have on the screen. In this lecture, we'll see how to remove unwanted frequencies. If you have no idea about audio frequencies, it may seem a very technical term. Trust me, it is a very easy to understand concept. It was recorded following the best recording practices. However, it is much quieter compared to the current narration volume. I can check where it stands in ACX quality. I have installed the ACX check plugin from the Audacity plugins website. You can see the peak and RMS level of the audio is low. Peak means the loudest point of the audio. It should be less than minus 3 but more than minus 6. You can see it is around minus 9 dB which is quite low with respect to ACX requirements. The RMS level is also too quiet. RMS is the indication of average loudness. An RMS in the range of minus 18 to minus 23 dB gives a good listening experience. Only the noise floor passed in this check, which should be less than minus 60 dB. But if I increase the loudness of the audio, this noise floor will fail. I will show you how to fix that. I will make the sound better in a single click. Select the entire track and go to Tools. I have developed some macros that let you make the sound better in a single click. These macros are Clear Vocal, ESS Reduction, Interview Improvement, Podcast Improve, etc. I have pre-configured the necessary effects on these macros. You select a macro, and your sound will improve instantly. I will use Clear Vocal Improve on this piece of audio. You can see the audio has become louder by looking at the waveform. Let's listen to it a bit. In this lecture, we'll see how to remove unwanted frequencies. If you have no idea about audio frequencies, it may seem a very technical term. Trust me, it is a very easy to understand concept. Understanding the basics of audio frequencies can help to get a clean audio. It is now perfect for YouTube videos or online courses. We can now check where it stands with respect to the ACX check. I will get back to this shortly. If you are wondering about where you can get the one-click improvement, I will show you that quickly. You can get 11 fantastic macros from this Buy Me A Coffee page. You will also get the EQs I have used on those macros. The description has an instruction video on how to import these macros. It works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So if you are interested in an efficient way to make the sound better, you can get these macros. Back to the audio processing we were looking into. After the improvement, we can see the peak and RMS passed, but the noise floor failed. I had not included noise reduction on those macros. Because noise reduction does not work well in the macros. Also different audio need different amount of noise reduction. The noise floor is around minus 53 dB, and it needs to be below minus 60 dB. So I need at least a 7 dB noise reduction for this audio. I will need a noise only part for the noise reduction effect. I will select the noise only part from the beginning of this recording. After selecting the noise only part, I have to go to the noise reduction effect. Noise reduction is a two-step process. In step one, you have to give Audacity the noise sample. Click on Get Noise Profile. We will now move to the actual noise reduction process. Select everything inside the track by double-clicking and go to the noise reduction effect again. You have to configure the noise reduction settings. The best noise reduction setting in Audacity is a value of 6 in all these three sliders. However, I will need at least a 7 dB noise reduction. I will set for a 9 dB noise reduction. Click OK to apply these settings. The noise is reduced and let's check ACX requirements. It has now passed in all three checks. Let's listen to make sure the audio quality is OK. In this lecture, we'll see how to remove unwanted frequencies. If you have no idea about audio frequencies, it may seem a very technical term. Trust me, it is a very easy to understand concept. Understanding the basics of audio frequencies can help to get a clean audio. I'll first briefly discuss what audio frequency is, then I'll show you how to remove unwanted frequencies. 
You see how easily I could achieve high quality like ACX for this audio. I applied a pre-configured macro and then checked where it stands in ACX. It required a little bit of noise reduction, so I did that. If you want this kind of efficient processing on your audio, you can get this macro pack. I also have some other courses and audio tools. You can check the shop page, and you may find something you are looking for a better audio editing process. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.